welcome to my channel on how to play and practice an A major scale. It's a scale that uh, most of us learn how to play in the beginning and uh, it is really great for many reasons. Uh, the first reason is that most violin pieces have scale passages inside them and checking on your hand structure and looking good while you're playing, making sure that everything lines up perfectly. And plus, they are very fun, and when you learn them quickly and good, they're very impressive for your friends. <laughs> all right. So, first of all, I'm going to t um, show you my hand structure for the scale. Thumb, very lightly on the side of the instrument. Some people call this the banana thumb. It should bend very easily. Touch very lightly, as if there, a feather could be place between the thumb and the neck of the violin. Very lightly. It's all a very light touch on it. And I can wiggle it around then. Place my first finger on the A string. Many of you will have tape, so that'll help you out on placement. Keep the first finger very square, like a park bench. And you want to do the same thing the same look on all the fingers. So you're going to have one tall square, a space, not that much space, two, and then touch three like that. Once you think you have that placed really nicely, it's looking very relaxed. Finger square. I'm going to place the bow on the A string. And for this demonstration, I'm going to play a down bow and an up bow. You can see that I have dots on my strings. On my bow, I have a happy face there, yellow, happy face there in the middle. That's where I'm going to stop. And I'm going to go play, I'm going to go ahead and play the three on the A string twice. I'm going to listen for the ringiness of it, see if it sounds really good and ringy. Oh, that was better. That rang a lot better than the first one. All right. Now I'm going to peel the third finger, go to two. Peel the two, go to one. Peel the one, open A. Now at this time, I'm not really thinking about the names of the notes. I'm just going to do the pattern. One, two, three. Peel to two. If you want to know the names of the notes, it will be D on the A string, peel to C sharp, peel to B, peel to A. But most, most of the time when you're first learning it, just look at the pattern. One, two, three. that over and over until it gets really quick. That almost looks like you're putting them all down at the same time. But actually I'm not. I'm loading up. One, two, three. feel you're pretty comfortable with that, I'm going to move to the E string. One, two, three. I'm going to drop my elbow so I can get to the E string. I'll listen for that ring. Same pattern. One, space two, touch three.
so it's, it, they're the same on both strings. Now, combining those two has a little bit more challenge. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to start on the A string and move on up. And I'll show you how to do that. Load one, square. Everything else is very relaxed at the top, just like you could wave to yourself. Place two. Touch three. Now I'm going to go to the E string. I'm going to leave my hand here, elbow drop, open it. One, two, three. Now let me discuss an important part. You'll notice that I will always place my finger down before I move the bow. So it's finger first, bow second. Finger first, bow second. Basically the idea is, the smaller the motion is goes first. This motion is much smaller than this motion. So smallest motion, largest motion. I'll try that again. Place, go. Place, go. Place, go. Perfect. Now I'm going to drop my elbow. Lift off. Ascended or you've gone up the scale. Um, that is the usually the first the first lesson that most teachers teach. And so now it gets a little bit more complicated, <laughs> but I'll make it easy for you. So we've ascended, we've gone up. Um, let me try that again. Place. 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 Elbow drop, D string. the other side so you can see it on the other side. Relax thumb. Place. 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 Elbow drop. One. Two. Three. Now what's great about going up the scale is you can say your alpha. not the same as open D, but it's a higher D. I'm checking it. Let's see if they ring really well together. Okay, elbow drop E. First finger F sharp. Second finger G sharp. And third finger A. Not the same as open A, but one octave higher, eight notes higher. Rings very much like the open A. Alrighty. So you notice you've heard my you've heard me saying sharps. The first one was a C sharp, and then there was an F sharp, and then there was a G sharp. So this scale has three sharps in it. Alright. Now let's talk about going down. We have already practiced peeling our fingers backwards. So I'm gonna load up from the top. This is where it gets a little tricky. Hold the bow on that E string, don't move it. Load up your fingers onto the A. One, two, three. Then lift your thumb, switch. Oh, I didn't do too well on that. Let me try that again. Place your fingers on the A string, prep and load up. Lift your thumb slightly, move your bow over to the A. So those steps are a little bit more complicated than going up, coming down. I'll try that again. One, two, three, load. Lift to two, peel. Peel to one. Peel to E. Move the bow on the E string. Load up on A. One, two, three. Thumb lift, switch. 
Now, the reason why I'm being really particular about all those steps is that if you miss one of those steps, you might get a squeak or you, I, what I call as a flarp. Uh, let, me ex let me demonstrate that. I'll try to play really bad. <laughs> okay, here I go. Hear that squeak? It's because I moved my bow and my finger at the same time. So the trick is... switch. Then it's clean. Uh, you have to use this, this hand first before you move the bow. So violin hand first before bow hand. Try that again. And over time, I won't even say, uh, I try to do it in time without any break. Something I did, I was playing while I was playing the open E, I was hovering my fingers over to the A string, ready to put my three fingers down. See, I moved them over, and now I go one, two, three, switch. So it's pretty, pretty important. You won't get that funny flark, I call it. Okay, also, you'll note I'll try to play badly and put my fingers down while I'm moving the bow. So you'll hear some funny flarps. Also, it's quite uneven, and you can hear ka dun ka dun ka dun ka dun ka dun ka dun That wasn't too good. So I'll try to do that at that speed with my fingers going first and then my bow. funny how a scale like this, our first scale, even as a, a player that's played many years, I will have to think about it so hard to get such a uh, absolutely perfect and it's a huge challenge. So over the years it's a challenge that will always uh, uh, keep you on your toes. So now I'm going to t uh, play it, uh, now that we've got the, the fingering pretty well cleanly down, it's once you've got that, that, let me say that again. Once you've got that finger pattern cleanly down, that you, you're able to go up, peel backwards, you can start adding bow techniques. Because right by this time, the finger pattern is fairly memorized. You don't even have to think about anything. So that's what's great about the scale. You can concentrate on other things. Um, for example, the cuckoo clock that's about to go off. <laughs> so we'll let the cuckoo clock keep the clock cuckoo. Actually, we might just leave the cuckoo clock on. I'm going to concentrate this time on a bow stroke. So you probably know this one. Stop, stop, Mississippi hot dog, all sorts of things. So I'm going to listen to that, that bow technique and try to add my fingers to it. playing that, since I'm playing notes, which is really fun to play instead of open strings all the time, 
I've got that scale memorized. I can really listen to the quality of my bow stroke. And even I need to work on it a little bit. So it's great, I get to really listen to it. Now some people will add, will do the tucka tucka stop stop or a bow stroke but up at the top of the bow. You can work on that. And then some people like to use the full long bow. So that's quite a challenge. But the technique still stays the same. The, first, the fingers go down before the bow moves. So I'll try to play I'll play uh, a scale with slurs. It's a very, very pleasing sound. So, but by that, by the time I get to slurs, I've got this memorized, this pattern memorized. Now I'll just play singles. Hope you enjoyed this video on A major scale. I'll be using the same structure and technique for uh, different scales, the D scale, the G scale, and others. And uh, if you learn the A scale really well, those should be quite easy. So again, this was the A major scale. Uh, great reasons to know it. it uh, every piece of music and violin, uh, but every violin piece has scales inside it. It helps you learn finger patterns, to also memorize those patterns, to be quick uh, for those uh, placing those patterns, and it helps with accuracy, um, it improves your relaxation and your quickness, and plus it'll make you look good while you play, and they're fun and impressive for your friends when you play them very quickly and cleanly and beautifully. Join me next time for next lesson on violin.